In the central part of Lahti happened the most capital crimes than in any other city district in Finland during the last 20 years. This fact is already a good reason to visit Lahti to check if it's really this dangerous. That is exactly what we will do while our vacation trip. Hi! Welcome to explore Finland with us on our vacation trip. We are going to visit three astonishing cities. On Monday we go from Helsinki to Lahti, the next day we travel to Turku, and on Thursday we explore Hanko and its amazing nature. We just came to Lahti and the weather here is just great. Join us! Hi, so we're on the place, it's the apartment we will sleep. The main room, quite big bed, New York view, London clock, big clock, beautiful girl, table. Kitchen here is quite new. So for this we're paying 70 euro for a night and we will stay here for one day in Lahti. And now we will do the bed chair. And probably it wasn't the best idea. So we left our backpacks and stuff in the Airbnb flat and now we are going to the center uh, where we can get into swimming facility to check what kind of pools there are in Lahti and saunas. And after this we will go to a bay area, which is really beautiful here. We'll go along it and uh, at the top kind of part of this bay area there is a really special place with a special view, which I really got to see and show. Then we stumbled upon a library of Lahti. I used to check libraries while traveling, as I believe they often show how much locals care about education and the youth. The library of Lahti was quite spacious, with a lot of cozy seats, natural light and plants. Also we run across an intriguing optical illusion of the library, whose precisely tuned illumination number 18 on the locker looked like number 13. Fascinating. Another surprising thing about Lahti was its public transport app with two useful perks. Firstly, it shows bus location in real time, which is convenient. Secondly, bus ticket price changes depending on time, as it tries to make passenger peaks more even during the day. I will definitely meet these features in Helsinki. Lahti is very green and cozy city and during our visit here we actually noticed it really well. However, some people call this city Chicago, Finland. They are both famous for their slaughterhouses and the troubled history of the both cities in the field of crime. The open pool is located in the sports center of Lahti, next to ski jumping hills. On the top level there are dressing rooms, saunas and showers. And on the lower level there are a sun bathing area and the pool. The pool is 50 meters long and has many swimming lines for different swimming speeds. It is compelling to see ski jumpers flying near while swimming here.
On top of this, its residents are good at sport as a lot of Finnish athletes are coming from this city. The open swimming pool was just great. It was super cheap, like it was less than 3 euro for students to go to this swimming pool like in sauna and you can be there like all day if you want. And the sauna is what was one of the best I've had in a few months. <laughs> Other thing about the swimming pool is that there is those uh, Maggie Hoop bed. Oh yeah. That was the best I've like it's just breathtaking to see how they jump on the hill. Yeah, and you just swim and you see them like flying in the air, just crazy. And I, I really don't understand how they do it without snow during summer, but somehow. But uh, you know one thing after swimming pool, you get to be really hungry. And we are really hungry, like I feel like I can go like run, hunt and stuff. So now we're going to the Sibelius Hall. Our food will come there. And oh yeah, I, I'm looking for it. <laughs> and also about the bat, which uh, I broke jumping. Uh, I called the guy and we talk about, talked about it and like everything is okay. I will just pay for it and he just say thank you for being like quite fast in telling you what happened from this stuff. So, nice cooperation here in Lashti. Yeah. Yeah, nice people, very understanding people. <laughs> if we can judge about all of them by one. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah. 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 Here is Sibelius Hall and we are having lunch near it. I got really big roll, chicken roll, salad, french fries, some meat, and Dolly got rice, something, something. It's chicken, it's chicken sashimi. Okay. And yeah, and our problem was that we didn't get any forks or anything, so we just... <laughs> borrowed a spoon from local restaurant it yeah, was really nice yeah yeah okay so we can eat now and like my what was for 18 euros and like i don't know it, it looks like it's cheaper than in uh, helsinki all this food and here we have nice view of lahti some boats water and architecture. I think it's a great place to have a <laughs> dinner. Yeah, okay, see you guys later. Behind me you can see Sibelius Hall. Construction of this building cost 128 million euros. And this wooden bench in front of me cost 50,000 euros. Some locals think that it's too much for Lahti, but what do you think? We did it, we ate and it was so good, you can't imagine. But I did two mistakes. First one, I underestimated the amount of food I will get. And the second one, I overestimated my ability to get this amount of food inside of me. So, but it's good anyway. So now we are going to this really crazy place with a crazy view and probably we will see sunset because you can see on what stage the sun is now and yeah and we will go there i'm not sure if you see in the in this there and there we should see kind of a city from the coast and we will see sunset beautiful nature bay water bay. yeah we have seen sibelius hall it's really nice building Especially uh, when there is right light, it looks really amazing. But on the first side, you can see it from here. It looks like it uh, it's not done <laughs> because you see this wooden stuff inside, and it looks like it's under construction. Maybe it's under construction yet still. But if it's not, then maybe it's not the best choice, in my opinion. But overall, it looks great. Uh, especially inside with the good light 
it's just marvelous. Here are the Sibelius Hall, there, I don't know what. On the top of this forest, there, you can see kind of this uh, structure going up. It's uh, exactly the swimming pool. Nowadays, luck is pioneering in environmental solutions. European Commission named it the green capital of Europe this year. Also, city is going to become carbon neutral already by 2025. It's exactly in four years and it's a great success. A great success! And here we can see actually example of this environmental development. There's some solar panel on the top and it gets energy from the sun and then you can just charge your phone here. Just plug it in and you get energy straight from the sun. By these innovations, actually, these uh, emission-free cities are built. And I hope uh, in future we'll see more and more cities like Lahti, which will become carbon neutral in future. Finland plans to become carbon neutral by the year 2035. It's actually 10 years later after Lahti. So we can think that Lahti is 10 years ahead of all other Finland. came to this fascinating place and the view here is just great and here also I didn't know that but here's kind of the construction which is doing geek for us music geek it's like really beautiful when there's some wine it makes this uh, long metal rods move and all and they make the sound and on this uh, place we see all the Lahti so there's uh, Sibelius Hall uh, all the bay area nice buildings and on another side we see other side of bay without buildings there's just beautiful sunset nature and islands it's really wow it's more than I have expected and Guys, if you will be in Lahti, you must come to this place. And with this sunset, we can just turn off the video and enjoy the sunset. So is Lahti anyhow unsafe? To be fair, it feels like we ourselves were the biggest source of danger during our visit to Lahti. Run, hunt and stuff. Breaking beds, borrowing restaurant cutlery and swimming late at night. What we really learned was that Lahti has a very charming nature, peaceful streets with contemporary architecture and exceptionally active environmental attitude. Hopefully we will meet again Lahti. However, now it's time for the next city. See you soon in Turku.